PCI Express serial bus developed by Intel and its partners is intended to replace PCI parallel bus and its extended and special version AGP. Despite similar names, PCI and PCI Express buses have little in common. Parallel data transfer protocol used in PCI limits the bandwidth and bus operation frequency. Serial data transfer used in PCI Express ensures better scalability. Specifications list the following PCI Express versions 1 times, 2 times, 4 times, 8 times, 16 times, and 32 times. PCI bus operates at 33 or 60C MHz frequency and provides bandwidth of 133 or 266 megabytes per second, all of which, however, is shared by all PCI devices. PCI Express bus operates in frequencies 2.5 GHz, which ensures unidirectional bandwidth of 250 megabytes per second for each PCI Express 1. To calculate bandwidth in case of serial lines, are available. One is to multiply this 250 megabytes per second bandwidth by the number of lines and by two, since PCI Express is a bidirectional bus. Usually, personal computers have one PCI Express 16 times slot that makes video card installation possible and replaces AGP slot found in older PCs, and up to four PCI Express 1X slots. Main boards used in several servers and workstations can also be equipped with PCI Express 4X and 8X. One should not attempt to install a PCI Express board into a PCI slot, and vice versa. PCI boards cannot be installed into PCI Express slots. Nonetheless, a PCI Express 1X board can be installed and will not most likely properly function at PCI Express 8X or 16X slot. But not the other way around. A PCI Express 16X board simply won't fit into PCI Express 1X slot. In 2007, a new specification of PCI Express bus 2.0 was adopted, whose main distinction is double bandwidth of each transfer line in each direction, which means an 8 gigabit per second bandwidth in each direction in case of the most popular PCI Express 16 X version used in video cards. Intel X38 became the first chipset to support PCI E 2.0. PCI Express 2.0 features full backward compatibility with PCI Express 1.0, that is, all existing PCI Express 1.0 devices will operate normally in PCI Express 2.0 slots, and of course, vice versa.